Hi everybody, welcome back to our kitchen here at Little Spoon Farm. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to make sourdough pumpkin cinnamon rolls. These cinnamon rolls are made with pumpkin puree, and instead of cinnamon in the center of them, we're going to use pumpkin pie spice. So if you want to learn how to make these delicious, soft, buttery cinnamon rolls, stay tuned and let's get started. Grate the butter into a large mixing bowl and then pour in the flour and use a fork to toss it and separate the pieces. Then you will use a pastry cutter or a bench scraper to cut the butter into the flour. Mix the milk, the pumpkin puree, the honey, and your sourdough starter. And you'll want to use the spatula to get these started as they will be quite sticky at first. But once you can't really get anywhere with that spatula, you'll go ahead and swish over to your hands. And you'll want to mix this dough until there are no dry bits left in the bowl. Once it's come together, cover it and let it sit at room temperature for about eight to 10 hours. Right before you're ready to roll it out, you'll want to mix the light brown sugar and the pumpkin pie spice and set that aside. And you'll also want to go ahead and melt the butter. Now that you're ready to bake, incorporate the salt, baking powder, and baking soda into the dough with your hands. And don't be afraid to mix that in really good. This is gonna help give us a real light, fluffy cinnamon roll. Now, once you have that mixed in, you're going to pretty generously flour your work surface. And we're gonna get this rolled out with a rolling pin. So turn that dough out onto a flour surface, flour the top, and then you're gonna want to also flour your rolling pin. You're going to roll this out into a rectangular shape and it's gonna be, I think somewhere about a quarter inch thick is how uh, thick the dough will be. And if it sticks like that, just take a little bit more flour and flour the top of the dough or the rolling pin. I believe this uh, rectangle is about 22 inches by 10 inches wide, I think, something like that. Doesn't have to be perfect. But I'm just lifting the edges to see if it's sticking. And you use this bent scraper. It's a really good tool to kind of get under and, and push flour underneath there because it kind of helps pick up the dough and keep it from sticking. So don't be afraid of using extra flour right now. Okay, so now that's not sticking anymore, I'm just continuing to roll this out. Once you have it rolled out, you are going to take the melted butter and you are going to coat the top of this and that's what's gonna help the brown sugar and pumpkin pie spice melt into the center of these amazing pumpkin sourdough cinnamon rolls. So leave a, about a one inch or a half inch border around the perimeter of the dough when you're putting the butter and the uh, topping on. Just spread that around real nice and even. And then you can sprinkle on the brown sugar pumpkin pie mixture. Now we're gonna roll it into a log. And you start at one end and you kind of go back and forth and do this really gently. You can see where it's kind of sticking. So I'm taking that bench scraper and that's helping to separate it from the work surface. And again, if you need to sprinkle a little flour down there that, you know, to help get that unstuck, then go ahead and do that. And this is what it's going to look like after you roll it up. I like to take a little bit more flour and 
sprinkle it on top before I start cutting. And I just use my bench scraper and eyeball it to about an inch, inch and a half each. And this should give you roughly 12 cinnamon rolls. Some are going to be a little bit bigger than others, but don't worry, they all bake up nice and evenly. So once you have these sliced up, it's time to get them into the pan. I'm using a cast iron skillet. I've uh, buttered it. I've just coated it with a, a little thing of butter. Um, but just arrange these in the pan, a little space in between, because they will expand. And once you get them all in, you wanna bake these for 35 to 40 minutes. After you take them out, you'll make your glaze. And I have powdered sugar, melted butter, vanilla extract, and a little bit of um, dairy-free milk. And just use a little bit of the milk at a time until you get the consistency you want for the glaze. I like mine a little bit on the thicker side, but that's it. You just pour this right on top and then use your spatula to spread it out. And let me tell you, these are amazing and they smell, oh, so good. You're gonna love them. So you guys, that's how easy it is to make these sourdough pumpkin cinnamon rolls. They are so soft and buttery and just full of fall flavor. So I really hope that you enjoy these as much as we do. And until next time, bye.